What's going on guys, my name's Theoatrix and today I'll be unveiling almost every scam that exists in old school. The intent of this video is to make you aware of these scams to avoid them happening to you, but I do realize that by showing all of these scams, inadvertently some of the malicious players out there will try these for themselves. So if you know any newer players or someone likely to get scammed, link them this video so they can avoid that happening to them. This video isn't showing any lures, only scams, and I'm saving lures for a separate video that I'm making later this week. I've put all of these scams into three different categories. Phishing is sort of a combination of both scams and lures, but I've decided to put them into this video since the lures one is already quite long. Before I get started, I want to announce a three-day sale going on on my merch store. With the coupon code WILD, you can save 15% off a Wilderness Gaming mouse pad. These mouse pads are huge, big enough to fit a gaming keyboard, and have plenty of room for your mouse. Each purchase supports Legend Arts, which is the artist behind this masterpiece, and each order arrives within four business days in the USA and one to two weeks worldwide. Orders to Europe are still in active because I'm still having complications finding a good provider for Europe, but I'm currently shipping to the USA, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. So use the coupon WILD with the link down below to save on a wilderness gaming mouse pad. The first scam is one that you'll see on almost every popular world at the Grand Exchange. It's where a player is advertising that they're buying a range of high value items, well above their Grand Exchange value. When you go ahead and trade them an item, they'll put a number of teleport tablets into the trade window, and they'll tell you to meet their main account to complete the transaction. Their intention here is for you to leave your item in the trade window and accept the teleport tablets while your high value item is still in the trade and is accepted over to them. I've seen a number of players fall for this scam at the Grand Exchange, and I'm guessing a lot of people fall for it because they think they know it's a scam and want to take the teleport tablets. A similar scam to this one is where a player says they'll give you a percentage of what you show in trade, usually 10%. The scammer will put up 10% in cash for whatever you put in, and they hope that you accept the trade without realizing your items are there. Another similar one is where a scammer is advertising that they'll round up your cash stack. So in this case, you'll put in your cash and they'll put in a far smaller amount into the trade in hopes of you accepting it over in exchange for the rounded amount. The next scam is when a player is advertising that they're selling an item for well below its real value. For example, a player might be saying that they're selling an armadillo chest plate for only 10 mil. In this scenario, you'll put in your 10 mil and they'll accept to the second trade window and then quickly decline saying it was a misclick. Once you open the trade again, they'll put in the chest plate, but right before you press accept, they'll swap out the chest plate for an armadillo plate body, the rune version. And if they manage to get you to the second trade window, the name still looks like they have the armadillo chest plate in the trade since they have similar names. The same thing can be done with the bandos chest plate and the bandos plate body, which both look very similar in the second window. Also, players will try this scam with the trident of the seas. They'll put a fully charged version first and then an uncharged version, which is far cheaper. This scam can also be done with items that look similar. For example, someone might be advertising that they're selling bulk dragon bones for a very low price. They'll show you the dragon bones and again, decline the second trade window. And then once you re-enter the trade, they'll put up big bones instead of dragon bones, which have far lower value. This can happen with a range of different items, including logs, potions, and some weapons like the Armadil crossbow, which looks a lot like the Hunter's crossbow when it's noted. The next scam is one that I made a video dedicated to, but it definitely deserves a place on this video because I still see people falling for it. On almost every world, you'll see a dicing bot that advertises that they'll pay double your bet if you roll above 55, which means you have a 45% chance of doubling your money. Well, these bots are actually rigged. On all of the public bot scripts, there's an option for you to select how rigged you want the bot to be. On this bot, it shows that you can rig the percentage based on how much the player bets. And on the second one, it has an option to rig all of the trades. So never ever use dicing bots. They aren't legit despite what they say. If you have the itch to gamble in old school, use the Duel Arena or go PKing. 
don't try anything else. The next scam is when a player advertises that they're giving out free items, and in the cases that I've seen, it's usually sharks or some low value item. They ask you to show your inventory so you have enough space to hold the items, and with that, they hope that you accept over everything you have in exchange for the lower value items. It's a pretty easy scam to see, but considering people still advertise it, I'm guessing a fair number of players still fall for it. Another scam commonly done at the Grand Exchange is when a player wearing very high value items, usually third age, will say something along the lines of, is anyone kind enough to give me dragon boots or some other valuable item? They could also say something like, first to give me 500k will get a reward. These players are hoping that someone will give them items and think that since they're wearing so much valuable gear, they'll get a reward for helping this player out. Out. Well, guess what? These players got all of this valuable gear by taking the money from players that think they're doing a good deed. Instead of giving you a reward, they'll either run away with your money or give you some low value item instead. The next one isn't very easy to see at face value since it takes place in the grand exchange algorithm. There will be a scammer asking if a player can buy a very specific item off the grand exchange and that they're offering a really high price for it. The item will have no volume traded on the grand exchange and the scammer is the only one selling that item for a very high price. An example is a player could be saying that they're buying javelins for 500 coins each. The victim goes to to the grand exchange and tries to buy them for 400 each, thinking that they'll be making 100 coins profit per javelin. But instead, they're fulfilling the sell order of the scammer which makes the scammer a lot of money. Another scam is when someone is saying that they're spending a large sum of money on any items. For example, a scammer could say spending 500 mil. When you go and trade them some items, they'll put in items that have a far lower value on the street than they do in the grand exchange. An example of one of these items is a poisoned bronze spear. The poisoned version is worth far more than it should be. So with that, they can put a stack of poisoned spears into the trade and that will show that the value is really high when in fact, they're actually worthless. This scam happens more commonly when brand new items are introduced to the game and they have a far lower trading value than the grand exchange price. An example of one of these items was the cabbage round shield. When it first came to the game, the starting price was 1.5 mil, but in reality, the shield was trading for far, far less than that since it's a pretty useless item. Over time, the shield is now trading at only 3K. Lastly, this is one you should all be familiar with, and that is doubling money. When a player says they're doubling money, there will usually be a bunch of friends around them pretending that they got their money doubled and claiming how legit the doubler is. This is to gain your trust in hopes of you trying out the scam. Similarly, a doubler might double your money at first in hopes of you putting your entire cash stack on the line and losing it. So overall, to avoid all of these trading scams, you firstly should never believe anything that seems too good to be true. It's almost always a scam. And secondly, only buy and sell your items on the grand exchange. Avoid using trading as much as you can. Moving into the next section, phishing scams. And the definition of phishing is when someone is claiming to be someone that they're not for their own personal gain. Phishing is very commonly used on old school to gain access to your account and there's a wide range of ways that people do it. Phishing commonly takes place on social media platforms, usually Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube. On Facebook and Instagram, Fishers go as far as using paid advertising to promote their scheme. And commonly, it will say something like there's double XP coming on old school and you need to sign in to your account to register. When you click on the link, it takes you to a website almost identical to the official RuneScape website, but the URL is slightly different. When you type in your details, it also asks for your authenticator or for your bank pin which is not what happens on the regular website, but for newer players, this is an easy trap to fall into. For the record, there will never ever be double XP in old school, at least for the long foreseeable future. 
On Twitch, fake streams will often pop up with a botted view account claiming something extremely out of the ordinary. Sometimes it will be a fake official old school stream claiming that there's double XP, but most of the time it's a stream posing to be one of the popular RuneScape streamers saying that they're quitting. It tells you to click on a link to claim a cash reward. This commonly happens to SparkMac and it usually has a stream VOD playing in the background with the title I'm leaving RuneScape or I'm quitting. All of these link to a fake RuneScape website that looks almost identical to the real thing. The same happens on YouTube, but this time it's usually someone advertising at the Grand Exchange saying that there's a giveaway and to look up a certain search term. When you go to that video, it has a similar agenda telling you to log in to the RuneScape website to claim your prize. There's a similar phishing attempt currently out there with someone posing to be me, but in this case, they're advertising a private server. Private servers very, very commonly contain remote access tools. So once you download this and play the server, the creator will be able to see every single thing you do on your computer and will take down your RuneScape details and hack your account. Similarly, a number of websites will pose to be the official RuneLite website, and when you download the RuneLite client off these websites, it also has a remote access tool, which in turn gets you hacked. The only place to download the real RuneLite is from RuneLite.net. Never download it from anywhere else. Phishing also commonly takes place in your email inbox. You'll receive an email that seems like it's coming from Jagex, but if you look closely at the sender, it's not from Jagex.com. These emails come in a range of forms. Most commonly, it says that the linked email to your account has been changed, and sometimes it'll say that your account has been banned and ask you to sign in to dispute the ban. To avoid this, never click on any emails that you haven't requested yourself, and always Always double check the URL before entering your details, even if you're almost certain that it's the real RuneScape website. Lastly, I'm going to talk about Jewel Arena scams, and I made a dedicated video to these kind of scams, but I'm going to briefly go over them here. Jewel Arena scams happen in two forms. There's Jewel Option scams and Item scams. Jewel Option scams involve the scammer changing the standard rules to something that gives them a very large advantage or guarantees that they win. To avoid all of these scams, you should set up a preset with a friend by using the save button in the bottom right. You can use these exact settings for a regular whip stake, and these are the settings for a DDS stake, and these ones are for a boxing stake. You can go back and pause if you want to copy any of those settings. There's a few option scams out there. There's the plate body scam where the scammer turns on the plate body and takes a high defense body like Torags or Justishar. They might turn on magic and turn off melee and then kill you using magic while you stand there helplessly. They could turn on food and heal up throughout the fight or sometimes turn on fun weapons, which means you can't use your main weapon. Jewel Arena item scams are a little bit harder to spot sometimes, and they involve when a player takes in a weapon that's better than the weapon being used in the stake. To avoid these, you need to thoroughly check the inventory and equipped items of the person you're staking in the second screen. The Garazi Rapier, Inquisitor's Mace, and Blade of Seldor are all better than the Tentacle Whip, and if a player has one of these in their bag or is wearing one, they're scamming you. A Dragon Warhammer is a another item to watch out for. The Warhammer is only slightly better than a Tentacle Whip, but it attacks a lot slower. With that, if the scammer doesn't have PID where their attacks show up first, they attack once with the Dragon Warhammer to swap PID and then continue on with the Whip. This one doesn't increase the odds by a lot, but it's still giving an unfair advantage. There's also items that give a defense bonus that the scammer will put on between hits, and these items include Hastas, particularly the Zamorak, and Hasta, and also the Aram staff. There's also the Maple Shortbow Scam, where low-level players say that they're staking huge amounts of money against high-level players. In these cases, the scammer will give you arrows that the Maple Shortbow can't shoot. If you try to anti-scam them by taking arrows out from the bank, they'll turn off the ammunition slot and kill you using darts or knives. Overall, all of these scams in this video can be avoided with three simple rules. One, never trust anything that's too good to be true. 
Second, always buy and sell your items on the Grand Exchange and avoid trading other players if you can. And lastly, ensure you have your Jewel Arena presets set up and always triple check the inventory and equipped items of the person you're versing. A reminder to get your Wilderness Gaming mouse pad with the coupon code WILD to save 15%. I also stock a range of posters for your walls, so if you want to check out my merch store, go to merch.theoatrix.net or use the link down in the description. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more old school RuneScape videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.